Greetings and welcome to the Friday Morning Vodcast Podcast. I'm going to watch you bleed. <laughs> Greetings and welcome to the Friday Afternoon Vodcast Podcast. This is going to be a doozy. Hey, all you Billy Bumblers out there, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Well, I'm doing all right. I dropped my car off last week to have a starting issue repaired. They said it was the alternator, so they uh, swapped out the alternator. That was, you know, not a cheap job. But I was like, hey, I got my car back. Yay. Huh. Still sounds like it's doing what it was doing. Lo and behold, it was. So I called them up. They said, all right, you know, bring it in. Da, 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 da. Oh, no, it's the starter. So now I have a new starter in my car. Yesterday, got there, turned it on, sounded great, sounded like the first time I'd ever started the car. I'd never heard it turn over so well in my entire life. Then I got up this morning and I was going to do some grocery shopping. You want to guess what happened? I'll give you one fucking guess what happened. Yeah, it, it didn't start. So he was very, Paul, he's a great guy down, uh, I don't know, Mako or whatever the hell the name of the place is. Uh, I've been dealing with those guys for years. There's a crew, I believe it's, I think it's Murray, Dave, and Paul. I could be wrong about that. So if I got them wrong, then I apologize. But um, nonetheless, it's, it's now I have the car again. He took it, he came with a flatbed, he loaded it up, and he put a brand new battery in it. He said, we tested the battery several times, it never tested bad. And then when we took it out and tested it again, it started to test bad. So he put one of his good batteries in. He said, drive it for the weekend. And if it's working well, come back on Monday and we'll figure something out. But he, he said, there'll be no charge for the tow. No, of course there won't be. I really feel like at this point, they should just give me the battery. Wouldn't you agree? They're good guys, though. Like, it, it's not like... If I was really hurting for money right now, I would probably say something. But I'm not a person who feels comfortable doing stuff like that. Nonetheless, my car sucks. It's, it's working right now, though. So I'm very appreciative that I, I got it back before Carol got out of work because then I could go do the grocery shopping and she didn't have to do it. This is not level at all, Bob. This is not level. But I don't have time for leveling today. I have to power through this. I want to tell you, I'm going to tell you a quick story and then we're going to get to all of this shit. <clears throat> this I have already filmed. We're going to reenact it because I have filmed two episodes in the last two days that I have had no time to edit whatsoever. Go near it, touch it, smell it, lick it. It didn't matter. I haven't been able to touch them. One of them was this. Normally I would take a drink of water and we would move on with our day. Oh, my shirt is wide open. I can't eat. I can't drink. I can't smoke. I can't vape. Until... But here's the thing, I've already done one of these and they couldn't get my DNA off of it. So what we're going to do this morning is we're going to do it again so that you guys can witness and see if I'm doing something wrong. I mean, spitting, I've been doing it my whole life. Jesus Christ. You know, sometimes <laughs> it's, it's out before I can do anything about it. Okay, welcome to a whole new world of personal discoveries. Okay, so you got to register the kid. This is on the back. The collection bag. So this is what the uh, the vial of my saliva and the mixture of this little blue stuff that comes in it. Like Jason was saying, I just got to let it pool up in my mouth. All morning, I've had saliva just pooling up in my mouth like crazy. No, I'm not kidding. Like I woke up and I was like, wow, that's a lot of saliva. I should go do the DNA test. Now I feel like I'm dry. I'm going to spare you. That episode was really boring. It was me trying to spit into a plastic tube. And unless you have a fetish for that, I don't think there's a lot of people that are going to stick around and see it. And this, um, I think I was just too tired this morning when I filmed it. So let's try these first. And then we're going to get to a special secret unboxing. <sighs> God damn it. I, I, I see where it's coming from, Rick. I see where the fuck it's coming from. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited. You know, I, I'm not done with hot stuff. I just, there are certain things, there are some times when I just need a little bit of a break. And, and now's one of those break times. And I am so backed up on content. I have to do this stupid Iron Giant. I have to finish editing the first episode of another show that I might be working on. Mm -hmm. I wish I could tell you more about that because it's fucking awesome fucking awesome. You're going to love it. Uh, so let's just get into this. This is the Wendy's, uh, the Pringles uh, limited edition. I think they're limited edition. I can't imagine these are going to be sticking around forever. Oh yeah, they smell like goddamn Pringles, just like I said this morning. They, they, they smell with a little bit of that, you know, spicy chicken. 
as stated previously, they're good. They're a good chip. They're a decent chip. They're not amazing. They do have a little bit of a kick to them. Nothing, nothing like you should write home about. Nothing to be afraid of. But it does represent the spicy chicken from Wendy's very well. I'm choking, so why don't we try this? The Jones Special Release of Pineapple Cream Soda. This is something I never intended to drink today or try today. I don't drink soda at all. This is probably the first soda I've had. Uh, oh, what does that say? Meet me at midnight. Oh, goodness. Someone has left me a secret sexy message. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, wow. Huh. Oh. If beer didn't exist, I would say that this is nearly indescribable, but it's almost like a sweet beer. Like a mead, almost, in a way. Let me hang on. That's not a good review. Oh, these, I would give these like a, a six. They're, you know, they're above average for Pringles, but they're Pringles. Not that Pringles are bad. If you like Pringles, good for you. I like Oreos. It's funny. The first sensation I get when it enters into my mouth is that I'm drinking a shitty beer because I hate beer. I don't really like beer. I've tried a lot of beers. Every now and again, one is okay, but I would never go out of my way to, to get it. But then the cream all of a sudden takes over. And the pineapple starts to in inject itself at the very end there. This is, this is a very complex flavor. I'm very impressed with Joan's uh, latest release here. This I would give an 8, just because it's very original, very different. And, uh, well, if you'd like soda, then go for it. I, I, I love soda, don't get me wrong. Here's the reason why I quit soda, because I can't just get <laughs> one soda and be done with it. I w every time I would go buy McDonald's, I would get a large coke with no ice because the ice is just taking up space and you know it would last me all day but the fact of the matter is the amount of calories in that and sugar in that is out of fucking control and if i'm trying to cut back on well, trying to cut back on sugar all this these goddamn companies would stop putting shit out that i have to review you know all right this is not going to be any formal review for an oreo I'm not sitting down at the table, I'm not doing anything special because there's nothing really special about these that have not been done before. These are the, they taste like America. No, they taste like Oreos, except they've got three layers of popping cream. What, do they all pop? Red, white, and blue layers of cream with popping candy. That's, that's gonna be a lot of popping going on. Yeah, it smells pretty much like an Oreo. It was, I felt like there was a faint scent of something else when I first opened it, but it could have just been the packaging or whatever. Hang on, let's take a look at these. You want to take a look? Let's take a look. I'm going to make a mess. There's no... Oh, there is a peel flip. I am an awful human being. I complain when Oreo doesn't put it on there, and then when they do, I'm in a rush, I'm not thinking, and then I open the package like a jackass, and then I can't get it shut again. We're just going to eat it like this, and I apologize. Look at the, this is just, it's almost like a, one of those uh, most stuffed. Oh, twist test came off nice and clean. This is a good cream. It, it falls apart rather than really comes off. I mean, it did come off really well, but y you'd have to be me to understand. You know, if, if you eat a lot of Oreos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's a thick ass cream. Good God. I gotta get her cream. I don't know if with all my settings you're going to be able to hear that, but, yeah, poppy. And you know what? They're really fucking good. Huh. It must be the different pattern they're using on the cookies to make them taste better. Okay. So, we did the chips again. Showed you the stupid ass DNA thing. Well, it's in the mail, so <laughs> another four to eight weeks and it should have the results. Four to six weeks, I think, uh, is what... Uh, Jason said it'll be a nice surprise when all of a sudden it shows up one day in my email it's like hey here's your result motherfucker okay and my producer slash seducer Rick Brady sent me this I'm assuming why you might ask well wait a minute that's not the right knife it's a good knife this has been a very reliable knife as far as cheap shitty pocket knives go I've had that one for quite a few years but it's not the official one anymore this one is Okay, that was stupid. Kids, don't play with knives. Unless your parents let you. 
If your parents let you, I'm not going to tell you that. I mean, you, you probably shouldn't. Kids shouldn't play with sharp objects. I mean, until a certain age. That's a funny thing. Like, when I was a kid, like, my mother kept me from, like, she didn't want me to get Chinese stars, but my grandmother would get them for me at the, uh, at the dirt mall in Rainham. The Rainham Flea, if you will. Um, do I have anything to say about that before I open this? Because I don't want to, you know, I want this to have its attention, the attention it deserves. Yeah, my grandmother used to buy me Chinese stars. And then one day we were coming back from the mall, the old Taunton Mall, and somebody threw away their social studies or science project. It was this huge styrofoam board. It must have been about four inches thick, uh, at least six, six feet tall, and about three feet across. And I brought it home, and I just fucking hucked Chinese stars at it. Okay, you've all waited long enough. Are you ready to see what's in the box? I assume you are, because that's probably the title of the... Here we go. Let's take a look. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallowed be thy name. Oh, dear God. Sweet, merciful baby Jesus, why? <laughs> a game of checkers with hot and spicy consequences inside every playing piece. The Carolina Reaper Peanuts. You were going to get me with those peanuts one way or another, weren't you? All right. Okay, how do we play? I'm, gonna, I'm telling you right now. Jess, I'm going to send you one of these because it's fucking on. Thank you very much, Rick. I will film an episode, hopefully, uh, within the next few weeks <laughs> to be able to actually show. I wouldn't say the next few weeks, within the next week or two. Uh, it's just I am so backed up right now on editing of my other project that I'm working on and just trying to do the daily stuff that I enjoy doing. I, I just I can't do a vodcast podcast to the rate I was doing them. I'm committed to doing something else, too. And the other thing is very, very exciting and fun and different. And it's not something that, you know, I've ever done before. It's not my idea. It is. Not, I mean, now it's my idea. It's part of my idea. We're all throwing ideas. In. OK, I'm going to shut up because there's nothing worse than hearing somebody talk about something that they're working on. And I am fucking infamous for that. So we've got the Iron Giant. We've got Sequestered. Uh, we've got the Secret July show, which is going to be pretty much be one or two episodes. And uh, that we, it may continue on through the summer. But the, at the beginning, I expected it to be a series right out the gate. And I just have not had time to film that while working on all these other projects. Once again, I'm fucking doing it. I'm just driving the nails into your head going, hey, guess what I'm going to do? Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something funny. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out. Thank you, Rick Brady, the producer slash seducer, for um, passing this along. That's not my line, by the way. I'm not stealing that line. That's a, that's a kind of funny thing. So if you like their shit, you should go check their shit out. But um, we will be playing this. I would really like to get somebody else on board. So if one of you viewers would be interested in doing this alongside me, we could maybe zoom it out or something. Right now, I got my args. And I got my args. I've got my eyes on Carlozzi because I think... She's ready for a heat challenge again. Bring it. This is the sound of one hand clapping. Look at that. Look at the muscles in that forearm. Dear God, I'm a monster. Christ, look at this. Look at, look at that. Ooh, yeah. You know what that is? That's actually my claws. I could at any moment just be like, shink, and there you go. Claws. Shink. All right, thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and hit that little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliveira, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care, and boy howdy. <laughs>